out there in nature, it doesn't matter if you look good. In fact, during this hike, I was busted the entire way. And did I care? Not really. I just wanted to survive. This summer, I did my first backpacking trip ever. I had been camping and I've done other hikes here and there before, but actually packing a whole bag of supplies and staying out on a mountain overnight was... it was fun, it was an experience. This was the Panorama Ridge hike. We stayed at the Helm Creek campgrounds to rest before heading back home the next day. I'm going to be sharing my experience while doing this hike and a painting that I made of my favorite view. Keep in mind, this isn't a hiking guide, although I did add a link for this one in the description if you want to know more about this hike or if you just want to try it out yourself. Day 65, lost in the woods. I'm starting from the moment we reached the peak of the mountain because yes, the end view is gorgeous and this was actually when I started recording the hike. <laughs> Here's some pics. Ooh, slay. I was exhausted here, by the way. That spot that I circled up there was where we had to climb up over boulders and boulders of rocks and snow. So I felt like a true mountain goat here. But look at this view. Like... I saw so many flowers and was blown away by how many flowers can grow at altitudes of that high. So this hike overlooks Garibaldi Lake. It's 2,133 meters above sea level and it took us about 10 to 11-ish hours with a few breaks along the way. So the reason why I started recording after we reached the peak was because I wanted to take in the scenery while we were making our way up. And also because I was struggling during the first half. I was fighting for my life to make it up that mountain. So yeah, I didn't have time to record because I was trying to survive, first of all. But yeah, over here we were crossing over a little bridge. Every time we crossed over water, I felt like such a cute little explorer. I was having a good time, but you know, after the first couple of hours, I was thinking more like, are we there yet? Are we there yet now? No? Man. We were joking about how it felt like we were hiking in the Lord of the Rings because whenever we would think we were close to the mountain, we actually ended up being further out than we thought. There was still quite a bit of snow up there, but as you can see here, we hiked through these grassy plains, we went through these rock fields, and some forests, and some alpine meadows. The alpine meadows were my favorite though, because they had the most flowers to look at, and there were even tiny bodies of water, like little lakes or streams along the way, and man, they were so blue incredibly blue. All of these lakes had waters flowing in from the glaciers around and from the mountains, so they were just super clear and it was just so refreshing being out there. We even came across a few animals like these little marmots. They were just rolling around in the distance, and some of them were just sitting on top of rocks, sunning themselves. But yeah, I really enjoyed this part. The hike down was a lot easier than coming back up because it was a lot of uphill elevation. Some of it was okay, but yeah, at this point my feet were incredibly swollen and I was just in pain. I was in so much pain just trying to keep my mind together. I was in pain, but like, look around. It was so pretty out there. I was in pain, but I couldn't be in that much pain because look at what I was surrounded with. It was so nice out there.
Wow, so beautiful. All this nature, all this lush greenery. Wow. And the sky is so clear. We made it. We're making our way down just before the sun is about to set. It's perfect timing, actually. Today was a great day. And then we're gonna go down and have some dinner. No, no, we're actually here. Oh, we made it. Oh my goodness. Oh, we made it. My neck, my back, my quack, my quack. <laughs> Just get it all out. <laughs> He's free. He's free. Yes, I'm free. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so crying. <laughs> oh my god. That feels ten times better. It smells like success. <laughs> it smells like success. That's for sure. <laughs> On your uh, foam pad, do you feel anything? The ground? You can't sleep on your side, you have to sleep flat. Flat, yeah. Except on, I can feel the nails from the wood planks, like, on my back. We're taking a quick break. I have my feet up. Yeah. I have my feet up on yeah. a tree trunk because on the walk down, my feet are hurting. Oh, nice move on the side, Dogwood. Halfway down the zigzags, about it's taking a quick break. Massive tree. I'll go this way. Thank you. 
made it off the bridge. We did this one. Love that. Luckily we didn't come across any bears, but we did see a gigantic pile of bear poop. Do you see the light? Oh. Finally! I've waited 17 years! Can you get to this point? You made it out! good. In fact, during this hike, I was busted the entire way. And did I care? Not really. I just wanted to survive. And surviving was... surviving is the most important thing that you can do out there. And so after I come back inside from my outside dilly-dallies or my hikes, I just feel so grateful because I survived. And me surviving, that should be enough. That should be enough for me, at least. And it is enough for me. That's more than enough. There's a lot of crazy things out there, but the fact that I survived and I did a 10 hour long hike up a mountain and I stayed out there and I didn't get eaten by a bear, that's amazing. Not that it's common anyways. People don't get eaten by bears out here. Please do not disturb the wildlife. But anyways, one of the goals that I had for myself this summer was getting out of my comfort zone for some reason before i did this hike backpacking just sounded a bit too extreme for me yeah it's kind of intimidating and i do remember telling my parents like oh i'm gonna go on this hike gonna do this is that and i feel like when you come from an immigrant household if you tell them about hiking or camping or whatever a lot of your family members respond in a similar way where it's like you know we work so hard to give you a comfortable home and like a place to stay and everything like why would you want to put yourself <laughs> why would you want to put yourself in that vulnerable situation and go stay out in nature and put yourself up against the elements and yeah they do have a point they do have a point i think the fact still remains that hiking is not for everyone backpacking is not for everyone you just have your own preferences as to you know what you're comfortable with venturing into but I feel like the main reason why I like to go hiking and I love spending time outdoors is because it makes me feel a lot more grateful for what I actually have. Having that tunnel vision of your day-to-day -day life and all the problems and all the worries and all the stress. Like it just, it's just non-stop. And by going outside, it just forces you to be rooted in the present and be aware of your surroundings it was more like a mental exercise of like believing in myself and trusting those around me and also just working as a team to make sure that we all made it up that mountain and made it back down the mountain <laughs> safely in one piece i know that not every experience that you have in life needs to be imbued with so much meaning or so much deepness because sometimes it's really not that deep it's really not that deep you made it up the mountain you made it back down but for someone that is very tough on themselves and you know might be a bit critical or have or like has issues with trusting their own ability to get certain things done yeah this feels like a pretty big deal this does feel like a pretty big deal to me. 
I don't mean to be cheesy or anything, but when you have your abilities doubted at every single turn, it does get kind of hard to trust in yourself at times. Like you, because others doubt you and your own abilities, you kind of start to internalize that and think, hmm, maybe I am not as good as I thought, or maybe I am not as capable as I thought, but no, that's completely wrong. That's completely wrong. And somehow during this hike, I had that epiphany. There's that saying that goes, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey and this hike definitely felt like that journey to me i don't mean to get i don't mean to get too preachy but this was my experience during the hike felt like my life was being reflected back to me and it was very reassuring like you think things are tough right now marianne don't worry you're on your way and if you're watching this you most likely are too. So, I'm just gonna try and enjoy the journey a bit more. Anyways, I hope that this resonated with you and you found this useful or entertaining or just enlightening or whatever. Thanks for being here. I'll see you again very soon.